is here now. President Julius Marabio is going to kickstart the official popularization of the medium term national development plan 
go ask on very dedicated Muslim. Allahumma sallallahu ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sallam. Allahumma sallam. Through the blessing of the Holy Quran and the blessing of the Prophet, the Holy that don't pass away, and on behalf of all the Imams, then, where the specialists of the East, not only my Abba district, for making you guide and protect the leader, when are we? President, President Manda Jiros Manda Bio, for making you guide them for her this country, yeah. All within our agenda, all within our plan. The way we president appointed them for as a leader of this country, and including the one who vote for them as a leader of this country. Let Allah add the love of this Australian. Let God add the love of Australian in their heart. So let them go better. What we need, let them enjoy. Let's all go before. Let it be as in other country there. How they are about them? How they admire them? Let Allah do that for me. اللهم إنا نسألك بكل خير عليه سألك منه عبدك نبيك ورب تسلون ونعوذ بك من كل شر عليه أستاذك منه عبدك نبيك ويبارك سال اللهم إنا نسألك أن تجعل سؤالون سؤالون أريد أن متمايل تان يا رب لا نرمات كمان برمات إن فتحنا لك فتح مبينا ليك في لك الله ما تكادم من ذنبك وما تأخر يتيم نعمة عليك ويأدي لك سرعة مستقيمة سرقة نصفين Wa bifuru mati muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Bismillahi minah shaytani wa rajim Bismillahi wa rahmani wa rahim Alhamdulillahi wa rabbil alameen Ar-Rahmani wa rahim Maliki ya uliddin Iyaka na abdu wa iyaka na sa'in Ihidina surat wa al-mustaqim Surat wa al-lazina an'amta alayhim Wairin ma'idhu bi alayhim wa ladhalim Amen Thank you very much for both the Muslim and Christian prayers that we don't do At this point in time we will now call on the host paramount chief for come and welcome His Excellency to Iyon District Una Mwamba and also um so in chiefdom, we say the power in Mama Komoto as well. Thank you. The Excellency, our dynamic president of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the Chief Minister, the Minister of Planning, all other protocols of them. I want to join the district chairman, SFPP chairman, the Moyamba district. I welcome you and your entourage, the Moyamba district, especially the Kayamba chiefdom, when I'm here, you get it. <laughs> your Excellency, you don't do a lot of uh, Development in the Moyamba district. We will continue for thank you, thank you for that. I'm not going to name all what you don't do, but I got new a few of the development things that we don't do for Moyamba district. We don't do it here over 40 years. We <laughs> and the other thing where we get when a big soil now we put. We chip down the single road. What did they make? Tombo, uh, they make noise on fish and this and that. Now, when we wrote now, I'm not good. Tombo, been there no more than the name Tombo, been there. But today, all the fish there now, now that they declare and go, and people that they come up, come up, then they come up, Kailam, Kenema, everywhere. Now, then they go now for go uh, buy fish. But if this road done, Nobody know they go to the side now for go get fish. And if this mobile bridge is done, that road can enter Moyamba. We don't open the east and the south to the colony. And then the Moyamba will not open wide and wide and wide. <laughs> Mr. President, Plenty for job, but we'll talk about because of time. We left the balance 
go, 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 go hang it with you. So I welcome you, I leave you home, when I come back, and the Miami this week. Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, we dynamic Paramount Chief of Kayamba, and uh, glad that you don't welcome the, of course, instead of Kayamba person. So, Una we not come up Kayamba. Eh? Una we not come up Kayamba. If Una be blessed, Una respect Kayamba Chief of that district. Because today the past has come out. Not a bunch no more. Um, we also want for a call on the District Council Chairman, uh, Mr. Joseph Boba, for come and introduce the chairperson for this program. And also, we want for Mekuna Nose, in a, also Secretary General of the Great uh, Government Party, the SLPP. Thank you very much, Chairman. Yeah, um, Your Excellency, sir, the Chief Minister, Government Ministers, the President, traditional leaders, development partners, tra stakeholders of the district. Um, it's actually this one afternoon uh, for introduce the chairperson for this August gathering. Of course, the chairperson here from the East is set to uh, the South, uh, a political veteran, a uh, mentor, and a uh, development partner. They don't do so much in Nigeria as at the talk. Now in the district chairman for all districts, so we are the People's Party. If we see the success of the SLDP in all districts, now hang up. And of course, we chairperson for this occasion, and no less the person for the resident minister for the Southern Region. Thank you, uh, Chairman Boga. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabio, Chief Minister and other ministers of government. We traditionally did them with development partners, we school picking them, and everybody we Kaya. Good morning. Uh, we, na Moyamba, and by extension the South, this na another big day for we, for MEC. We all come for come launch, waiting na government in plan for this country. We, na the middle term national development plan for come launch na Moyamba, we in the Southern region. Of course, it's not the first time I remember under Dr. Kai Kai, we've been launching again na Matrujong, we the Bond District. So, and we believe that all waiting within that plan, 99%, that's not a hundred, they be able to make sure say it delivers to the people of this country. So today, again, we're there with the development partners, and then with Kinder Yegi, and every other person for me to come Bonado waiting the government plan for do between now and uh, 2030. Of course, that means uh, we get for continue through the ballot box beyond 2028. Because every plan will be in the So, I'm glad as soon as you servant, where I believe say we all the rough shoulder and all the children then at this south for make a be chairman of this very important occasion. So I thank you for listening and the add to the Paramount Chief for welcome His Excellency and every other person we can hear this morning. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, we get for continue for serving with self. Some people there then go new. Some people there we will just make let people know say they stay there alive. So now we they come to introduction. We they begin with the locals with Reverend Martinez, when an executive director, of the Australian Road Safety Authority, 
where you can introduce uh, the locals. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman, Your Excellency, Chief Minister, and Ministers of Government. Um, this introduction very short because we'll already uh, go beyond time. And uh, I they call on the Brahman chiefs from Moyamba district, all the uh, 14 chiefdoms for Mekuna, please rise for Mek Echisuna. We get for me to term in the evening, but um, and I think we will do the proper introduction. So for uh, time's sake, <laughs> chiefs. Of course, um, we get the the council chairman in Don Cam talk, the CA self there around, uh, chief administrator, and the rest of council team who want to make una the one or make una team up not be recognized una. You okay? Then we also want to introduce the Moyamba District uh, Development Organization in Amodo, and they don't support the uh, districts in different forms. Moyamba is a team up, and they recognize them. Thank you. We also get the young people M way done they support your activities and we don't they move up and down with them all over the district. We want to make them team up and make we recognize them. Uh, CSOs, media, all them groups and they way being at the district we want to recognize them. And of course the um, regional team there also we want to make this. South and regional team we can support we. We want to make our team up and organize them. Of the um, coordinating team from each of the uh, chiefdoms and constituencies, we want to make our team up um, for make the HE itself appreciate them. All of them uh, coordinating team we now for the district. So um, I think that are the group. The members of parliament, they have been very supportive, Your Excellency, especially in uh, this drive for me to come. Uh, this being a development activity, we uh, appreciate the members of parliament and all the leaders in the Moambar district for their support for ensure that we will uh, plan this program together with the Ministry of Development for the success. Um, this is the first time we come and back, and we will be expect uh, some other activities uh, after the elections, I mean. And we, we, we are happy for receiving, but uh, the other part of the program will not say it will never happen, uh, but you can for me to approach them. So we uh, ask on all other people, um, the, of course, the MPs, the Menetim Timah Force, the members of parliament from this district, we get uh, six clusters plus the Honorable Parliament Chief. Uh, so they are here, including one uh, <laughs> virus way in the district. But before this started on, I want to assure you, say, this is a be baptized. Into the district. I'm a mentor Thank you. Um, we want to appreciate the rest of the people that we provide support um, to this uh, seat and our Mokunal team up and make them recognize you. Know. Council of Elders. I know we're left for that definitely. One minute, same team up. That we appreciate. Thank you very much. And yeah, thank you, thank you, Chairman Senesi. Of course, uh, then we begin the next group begin them. Let me serve team up. We'll recognize Una Presence there. 
Thank you, thank you, Unasido. Okay. Um, well, I did now call on the other Alejo Dende we come off free time camp. I did call on Dr. Jonathan Tatos Williams for Mexico introduce them. Um, well, anybody will call on them in five minutes. Good morning, everyone. Your Excellency, Honorable Chief Minister, Mr. Chairman, I want for, let you permit me for make a go recognize the dignitaries from Freetown in groups so that we will be able for safe time. But I want for let you know that we honor this morning for let you acknowledge all the dignitaries we come of Freetown for can give light to this particular program. Uh, first of all, one for recognize the UN representative, Her Excellency Madam Serafina Okana. Thank you so much for coming. I also want to recognize the presence of the Secretary General of the Australian People's Party, we also na Deputy Minister of Mines, Honorable Napoleon. And I also, at this moment, want to recognize the Chief Minister, we in there for some of now we not have Chief Minister, welcome. I also want to recognize all the Many officials from State House and the presidential advisors were there. If on a day, I just want to follow up now so that we will recognize on our presence. Right? <laughs> well, the other one, don't you know, but we will still recognize them. The secretary to president is there. <laughs> we want to see you very welcome, sir. And we also want to recognize the secretary to cabinet, Mr. Sumaila. Thank you, Mr. Sumana. One for recognize all ministers and deputy ministers. One for Leona Tinap, so that we will see you Please go. Thank you so much for coming. You're very welcome. We also want for recognize former ministers. Where they now we missed, we want for welcome on that. Yeah, that's good. Welcome, Mr. Honor, to have you. We now missed. We also want to recognize heads of the departments and agencies, NGOs and CSO representatives where they now we want to recognize on our presence. For now, they please we want to follow Natina. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. We also want to recognize the development partners. Where they are with we representatives from the development partners. One for say welcome. If, if you are here, can you please stand? We just want to recognize your presence. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation to be here. We also want for welcome staff of Mopeds, where they are. New stop planning staff. New stop planning staff. Thank you. Thank you. Napoleon. So, I did now call on uh, uh, Mr. Napoleon Koroma to make you go introduce the appointees. Wait, uh, yeah. Jubilee, Reverend, Right Reverend Smart Senate. We gave Mr. Emmanuel Ali, for the head of um, the GEC project, Ministry of Education, Rambai District. We get Dr. Hinga Sandi, National Investment Board from Mayamba District. And just recent, recently, he appointed another son from Mayamba District, when I'm Mr. Daniel Kaitibi of Maritime Administration from Mayamba District. So we tell President Plenty thank you for giving sons and daughters of Mayamba District for letting help them for develop and maybe very more deliberate. The Mayamba District, our district, we always don't show a lot of inclusivity and welcome brother from the all people's congress the apc member of parliament standing alone recognize you 
is part of the development of Naba District and is the son of Naba District as well. Thank you for coming for being part of the development. Thank you very much for the opportunity, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Koroma. And I thank God, for what I don't need, the cap, now His Excellency, the President himself, where we know say he come over in that district. Now they in a come out to a bona. So we recognize everybody. And I thank you. Huh? Yeah. We they recognize the presence of Dr. Prince Alex Hardy. The point of district. Uh, well, at least one point two. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, we don't sabi people then. We they continue the program as we get for call people then for make them go talk and we go time them because uh, we don't say this now really season. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So now. For a good message for coming from the Chairman, Parliamentary Committee for Planning and Economic Development. The Chairman, Kauai Sirekan, and for Kanku, could recognize the presence of the Honorable City Tunis, of course, Nawan Yamado Ibiya, and I can still say Speaker of Akua's Parliament. Oh, when I got it in our Thank you. Of course, Dr. Alpha Wuri will recognize your presence now, yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, His Excellency, the President of the Sierra Leone, Madam Minister, um, Chief Minister, Cabinet Ministers present, the Chairman of the ruling SLPP Party, Dr. Alex Boisadin, and all all of us present here this afternoon. Um, in the absence of the chairman, as a member of the Committee on Economic Development and Planning, um, I want to step in the shoes for make a statement. Uh, I want to tell all thank you for that we get here. The Medium Town National Development Plan, now I plan a strategic uh, roadmap on how we have let Sierra Leone go. And as parliamentarians, we function now for follow and provide oversight on their development activities across the country. And I only pray and hope that uh, even as a district, we're going to align with development plans them, with the national development plan, and even with development partners as well, we're going to align those development plans in town. And all the team for make it possible for let them choose Mwamba district. And we know that Mwamba district come on and make it choose Mwamba district. This will go down history that in the days of the minister, one assure you that anything we get for do with development at this country, we all they with you for support you. And we will continue for support them until the day where you go say, yes, it's yes. And Mwamba District, we are proud of you. Now I make it say, we miss selfie, say, because I as a caucus leader for Mwamba District, we able to come with a brother when at the eight, through you support on this child married. It be the part of we yesterday we engage the radio station. Follow popularizing to the Parliament chief then, the section chief then, and everybody will be the Mwamba district will listen to the radio station. We we'll appreciate you for everything they do. We we'll appreciate you for the lights. We we'll appreciate you for the MCC money. We we'll appreciate you for the police vehicle that we don't come. H.E., if you get for travel to my money, say travel back so that more things they go can as alone. Not also, travel no more. We we'll see what they come. So even that my money, you get travel, travel back. We we'll don't see when you travel something they happen as alone. We we'll appreciate you for that day. Mwamba District MPs, do I want to come forward? Mwamba District MPs, when I come forward, quick, quick. MPs of Mwamba District. Faster, fast, 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 fast. The caucus leader is calling. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Five minutes, and they give me. Yes. Your Excellency, we as MP of Mwamba District are all ready to do the campaign. Thank you so much for the time we spend on Mwamba District. And thank you because you always trust in the MPs of Mwamba District. As today also before you, I assure you 
that will anything that come in the Mwamba district, anything we get for do development at this country, we will go support them. And we will we we go live life for support that one day. So that the Sierra Leone People's Party, everywhere you go, they exit. You not go only exit, but you they exit as a father of the Sierra Leone People's Party. The party go remain and remember you for all what you don't do. We they vow today and we they... Strides, um, he has brought to um, he said, Moyamba district um, is blessed with fishing activities, but the limited um, road and poor road connectivity is a major challenge. Five big game changers. Please, we need your audience. Thank you. Oh, my children, three sons and two daughters. Now that I am old, me to play games. But I use you, my children, to play the games that will lead to better change and development. The games are game number one, feed salo. Yes, daddy. And focus on agricultural boosting and ensuring food safety. Thank you. Game number two, human capital development. Thank you. Game number three, Youth Employment Scheme. Yes, Daddy. I am a catalyst for social, democratic, and national security. Thank you. Game number four, Technology and Infrastructure. Yes, Daddy. I serve to increase investment in these critical areas. Thank you. Game number four, Transforming the public service at Intercto. Yes, Daddy. I ensure efficiency and professionalism in the public sector. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much, my children. Listen to me, my children. According to my observation, I may like to choose one person from you here to take over me in order to bring development and improvement to the family and to the nation as a whole. So, I prefer Fit Salon to take over me, my first game changer. Because that is why. Why do you choose Fit Salon against human capital development? You know I'm important too, because I am a stock of knowledge, skills, and all passion and characters instead of me, youth employment and skill. You know that I'm important because I provide job facilities. People should be know that even if you are working, you have to be responsible and perform better performances in your working place. But why, Daddy? You know I'm important too. I introduce groundbreaking ideas and technologies that can result in transformative changes to produce services, processes, or business model. <laughs> production and also explain food change, create job opportunities for women and youth in our society. <laughs> hmm. You are right, Fit Salon. My first game changer, I choose you to be. But daddy, even for you to farm properly, you need to have a good educational background. With that, it will help you to be a good farmer. And if you don't have good health, how can you go to the farm and go? <laughs> Daddy, you're not listening to them. You know that without job facility, you will not have the money to buy food. And without job facility, your children will not have access to health facility. No, father, I disagree. You know, 
you and I know that without good wood, even, even someone that is sick will not be able to go to the hospital. But therefore, even social services in this country will be so poor in this. Why is that? You and I know that if you don't have that, why is that? You and I know that if you don't have. I'm purely disagreeing with them, Mr. President and everyone present here. For you to know I'm important, even when you go through sickness, they will ask, have you eaten before they give you medication? <laughs> have you eaten before they give you medication? And if you do not take anything in, this, the medicine will affect you harmfully. And also, the medicine and all other functions cannot work properly without food. You are all important here, my children. Listen to me, my children. But for us to complement each other so that at the end of the day, the family may go further or it may go to a better level. Feed salon is more important in our nation. My children, listen to me. You really know that life does not exist without food. Also, with Fit Salo, you can earn many money for so many purposes. As you can see, our president is focused at the big game changes and aim to achieve the 17, the 17 areas by 2030. And our president, His Excellency, Dr. Julius Mada Woni Bio had launched the National Development Plan for 2024 to 2030, which is tied to transformative acceleration, agenda for food security, human capital development, and job creation. With these games, any country can develop without limit. So let us all join with our president to change the scenario of our country, Sierra Leone. Let us all embrace this responsibility with the knowledge that every step we take, every decision we make, it is a step towards a brighter future to Sierra Leone. With that, let us all here join our president, join our president to change the scenario of Sierra Leone. We are here to sing our song together. Let us join hands together and change Sierra for me. to just um, sing was a way to drive home the messages of the big five game changers so that the least man sitting here at the Mwamba uh, District Council will get the message of what the medium term national development plan is all about. Thank you so much.
video dignitaries on the high table, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you greetings from the great Harvard School for Girls. Belong. This afternoon, we want to embark on a journey that challenges the very fabric of social norms and a heart that and a heart that welcome everyone. And a heart that welcome everyone. Today, we are not just going to ask a skit. This is not just a performance. It is a call to action. It is the transformative power of effectiveness and the it is the transformative power of effectiveness and always guaranteed. One girl's journey towards inclusion begins. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this handicap. What will join us in our school? We're supposed to be in the farm. Look at her. I don't even understand this. Sister, just go and be in the village. This school is not responsible for you. Just go and sit. Oh. This is my and Fatima. Good morning. What are you girls doing here? None of your business. Just go to class. You girls are gossipers. You always stand and gossip people. You not pay attention in class. I'm even going. Just go to class. <laughs> Have you heard? What? Esther is pregnant. Oh, my sister. I heard she must be so scared for her to be pay attention to her school. She will not do it all. I going to be treated like everyone else. Let's go to class. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Before we start today's lesson, I want to remind you all that our classroom is a place of support and respect. No matter what someone is going through, we have to be there for each other. I hope that is true. Hey, Esther. How are you feeling today? Oh, hey, Fredeka. I'm good, I guess. I'm just trying to get through the day. If you are ever feeling lonely, don't forget, I'm here. We all go through tough times. Thank you, Fredeka. It means a lot. Hello, Esther. Hello, Joan. I know you are going through a lot right now, but I don't want you to be discouraged. My elder sister was in the same condition last year. But thanks to the school counselor who helped in supporting her. Please let's visit her in our office. Okay, no problem. Knock, knock. Yeah, who is it? It's me, Joan. Coming fine. Please have your seat. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Kanu. How are you? Hi, Esther. It's good to see you. How are you holding up? 
It's been tough, but I feel like everyone is judging me. I understand, but remember, we are all here to support you. Have you thought about joining the support group for young mothers? Mm, I've heard about it. Maybe it's not for me. It is a place where you can connect with others who understand what you are going through. You might find it helpful. Okay, no problem. Maybe I'll give it a try. Don't worry, I'll take it to her. Okay, ma. The support group became a safe haven for Esther, a place where she could share her affairs and hopes without judgment. Knock, knock. Yeah, who is it? It's Miss Cannon. Come inside. Good afternoon, Miss Mattia. How are you? I'm fine. This is Esther, one of my students, and she's here to join the people. Welcome, Esther. We are glad you are here. This is a place for sharing and supporting each other. Okay, but I'm a little nervous. That's okay. We've all felt that way. Why don't you start by telling us a little about yourself? I'm Esther. I'm a junior and I'm pregnant. It's been really tough, but I'm trying to stay strong. Welcome, Esther. We are here for you. It gets easier when you know you are not alone. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, Esther. You'll be safe with them. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Today, we are here to talk about something important, radical inclusion. Our school is a community, and that means supporting each other through all kinds of challenges. You can see them. Thank you. I would like to share something. Esther, you have shown incredible courage, and we are all here for you. Thank you, Frederica, and thank you, everyone, for showing me that I belong. Esther found a place, supported by friends, and a community that embraced radical inclusion. We've got your back, Esther, always. I know, and I'm so grateful. As the school year ended, Esther knew she wasn't alone. Radical inclusion had made our journey a little easier, a little brighter. Esther, we are all so proud of you. You've shown us what strength really looks like, and we hope you will help to inspire other young pregnant girls in the future. Thank you, Miss McCarthy, and thank you, everyone, for showing me that I belong in the society. Remember, Inclusion isn't just about accepting. It's about embracing and supporting. Let's continue to make our communities places where everyone belongs. Thank you. With radical inclusion in our schools, the school is a safe place for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we clap for the boss once more, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, at this juncture, I will now invite the Minister of Planning and Economic Development for Mac AO State. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, the President, retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabio, Chief Minister, Resident Coordinator, Resident Minister, Chairman Prince Hardy, colleague ministers, our revered Agladi for waiting we come for, because Moyamba na a not to focus, because I come on Moyamba, I mean the minister for the one whole country, but uh, we day are for Moyamba, is now unique, special, 
and blessed district. For a number of reasons. Now the third largest district in the country. The largest district in the southern province. It gets the greatest number of chieftains. And because of that diversity, if you take, if you go all the way to Ribi, way dear, Denia, Port Loco, and Freetown, you come along all the way you can to Cumbria, Vacunia, Kamaji, <laughs> and Cori. Before we get to Cori, Kamaji, you go down to the south, you pass Bumpe, come round Temne, you come to the sandy beaches of Kagboro. You come up again, you pass through, and no one left anyone out of, but we get Bagua, Lower Banta, we get. Um, Yes, Fakunia, I don't left Fakunia. Kayamba, we are all. And this other special thing about this district, in the past, we would talk about feed salon. I show more about district with that land area and all waiting to be in the plant in the past before able for feed salon. If we talk about leadership, we not say Moyamba, they produce leaders. Our first prime minister, Usai Komot. Second prime minister, Usai Komot. The better half of the third uh, uh, prime minister, Usai Komot. Okay. We're president. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the third, the first president, yes, Chaka Stevens in Mama Komonaya. We produce leaders. And my auntie um, of late blessed memory, Madam Honoria Bela Corker, he can always say, the light come in to Sierra Leone, to the Moyamba district, through Kaboro chiefdom, and we light up the one whole country. We were the leaders, we have been, we've been the lead in Bokuting them. But I think say, that light don't dim. But with Wetu We Daya today, the national plan where we don't reach, where, where we don't launch in January this year, we come now a bright back. What do we do now the plan? This plan we're different from all of the other plans. We make sure that we record all of the district consultation them. So if you look the plan, the priorities of every district under the big five game changers, did it. For Moyamba district, on the but they need more tools and technology. Under human capital development, their priority now being forget more qualified teachers. We also now a beacon of hope for for the youth employment scheme. Their priority now being for set up vocational institutes. And although the president no get for it, don't matter where it come, but it get for day with me tonight, day tomorrow morning. So hotel or no hotel. But if we want hotel, we tell them one of the things and where we get for do for Boyamba is for make sure, for the district, is for make sure businesses pick up, make sure we get a stronger private sector in the Moyamba district. That now, one of the problems, one of the main problems, and so I will give you some of the plans, I know the president they can expand on them, but there are at least four, at least four, we don't mention the road, the road from Makolo, Way for nine, it mentioned the Shenge Road. That road, where it can, in no day, stop in Amoyamba. But wait till we do, do right now, it will go up to Bambatok Junction. And we defect, we defect for the resources for the road to Shenge. But the reason why it is, it tap, now Bambatok, anything. 
it go it can. So Tay Elijah tell us it. Look in the road soon. Thank you. And also on the Macolo Road, we get for Kamwemba. We done the discussion with the contractors, and waiting they say then they make a leg with man. You know the waiting they call rest station. Where they make then they put all kind facilities in day for attract people already attraction day because you cut about hundred miles from your journey if you come through uh, uh, Songo to Moyamba. <laughs> At the end of that road, modern facilities. Because when the district door open, what do we need next? When we don't go to Shinge, and in addition for the district. And we want to tell the UN and UNDP thank you for the support we and give for help we forget this program. We also want to tell them, the World Bank representative there, that we do a proper district to get for district. And of course, when we both say, I follow. And I follow every instruction to the letter. I follow, say, when they come Moyamba, when we go to all of the other districts, and then they follow, say, by 2030, this country will be changed. <laughs> by 2030, before that time said, Moyamba district will change. I tell you now, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, clap for the mommy. Thank you so much, Honorable uh, Minister. Well, Una Mekwe Sido. We still see people that they come in. I will all sit down now and uh, pay attention. Um, as I did now invite His Excellency the President, Dr. Julius Madabio, for delivering the key. Our greatest development partner so far, present here today, civil society, NGOs, distinguished ladies, coming to our collective ambition and our, our unwavering commitment. The most important launch of this document for the Gunabi to Mani Noma will go speak grammar in 11 days with the decentralized activities. That is why we are here. As we all know, this is the successor to our previous National Development Plan, which shaped my government's agenda and the first time through which we achieved several milestones in the area of free quality education, healthcare, delivery, taxi. Popularization ensures that every community, every district, every citizen is actively engaged in the development process. This inclusive approach allows us to tailor our strategies to meet the unique needs and aspirations of our diverse population. We recognize that meaningful development cannot be achieved from the top down. It requires the active participation of our local leaders, community members, civil society, and the private sector. Together, we will identify local priorities, as was discussed or, or elaborated upon by the minister, mobilize resources, and steadfastly implement solutions that drive sustainable development in every corner of our country. This is not just a plan for the government, but a collective effort involving all stakeholders. As we build upon the gains in the past few years, this new plan will build on the successes and outstanding deliverables from the previous plan 2019-2023 and the emerging challenges 
scaling up efforts to accelerate the delivery of desired and better development results for our people. Among the remaining challenges we face are the need to scale up domestic financing for development, reduce extreme poverty and food insecurity, address energy needs, improve the country's human capital index, increase the people's participation in finance and development, and transform the public sector architecture meant in infrastructure, technology, and digitalization. And the fifth one is transforming the public service architecture. This is the machine that delivers, and therefore it should be efficient and professional. That way we get the best out of it. Each of these big five resource area is strategically aimed at three, creating 500,000 new jobs for the youth. Go for a highly productive economy that is inclusive. And go five, a capable and an effective public service. To deliver on the big five policy areas, the plan has also laid out five key enablers as catalysts, which are one, scale up efforts to diversify the economy for sustainable growth. Um, on this one, um, the environment should be of special interest to everybody, especially now that I can see all the Paramount Chiefs are here and we are all here. The environment, protecting the environment, is a public good and it should be our business, not just the Ministry of Environment or the Paramount Chiefs. We need to accelerate gender mainstreaming efforts. That's what they say. But today, I don't see any school boys and I and school gear they no more see. That is not fair. Any school boy there? Eh? I love the girls, but I would love to see the boys in here too. This is over gender means criminal. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the new fee salon program constitutes a strategic shift from our previous human capital development flagship program of the previous 2019-2023. As when I've been see the, the, the skit where they begin and do, empty bag, not empty map. They don't remember 17 for teach. So, we have to feed Sierra Leone. Everybody, we should have enough food security. The new medium term national development plan incorporates the district development priorities in addition to the big five game changers and the five catalytic enablers. District stakeholders carefully chose these during the plan preparation process as the minister has explained not to wish on a free zone and plan for now this for be a plan this process then be canto owner and in fact the plan we will get for the future is even better past this because that's a day from the world level we the begin consult. But I will come to that one very soon. So not a district level, no more with the Sidon. Chief down level, ward level, what I need. So when the, the development plan for Moyamba district may vary from the development plan of Poloko district, depending on what I say when I need, the binding constraints to development. Because when you travel around the country, there are different things that the Hamburg we for able go before. And then till the day, although some of them are the same, for the most part, some particular side and day, so then, if you can now, na Moyamba, when you talk about the Mabang and Moyamba Road, then the clap for you say, by the time you talk, say, they make the mountain go with Nashinge, then they put you on the shoulder. 
And if you see now the one from here to Bamba to Tego Richard, uh, you don't become the chief. So, we don't talk about that and we will not forget to, um, we've been there in a meeting where I tell the Minister of Finance, whatever happened, if we get for good, take that debt we could make, we shoulder the bay before make the road. Because this one from um, Nabang to here, now, like the minister, they talk, the plan don't go far. Now, small thing they don't know what we need for do for finish this one. And this one, they go to uh, Bambatu Junction. And the one, Tego Shege, Naina Mi Priority. Oh, God bless you. I may know that the road really good on me over there, too. <laughs> So for bottom, uh, every side we're going to be very easy, not know, so. <laughs> District stakeholders carefully chose these during the development preparation process, underscoring their crucial role in shaping the plan. So like I say, we need to just sit down and Twitter, we gather them book Monday and them book Monday, we begin plan for now. No, development is local. In as much as we can, every day when they go back, we know certain things there, we not problem there. But we not wait in our way, they sleep and grab. We not know the things the way they and buggy we not. So now then till the day, nine development for bring calm to now. So these definitely constitute a new plan, which will guide the operations of all development actors in the country, our development partners, non-state actors and the private sector. The government ministries, departments, agencies and local government councils are expected to play a central role in operationalizing this plan through the articulation and implementation of sectoral and local council development plans aligned to the national blueprint. Your active participation is key to the success of this plan. It is therefore a plan of, by the people and it is for the people and that is how it should be. And that comprehensively captures the needs of every region of this country and is strongly aligned with the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the African Union Agenda 2063. By aligning these global agent, uh, agendas, we are part of a larger international movement towards sustainable development. I want to use this opportunity therefore to thank you, Madam Kenya Bale, the Minister, and staff of the Ministry for fa facilitating the fulfillment of my government's commitment to presenting the medium-term National Development Plan to you to people then, we they go all around because of the richness of diversity. We will go now for twelve for us. I want to assure you that of my unwavering commitment to the successful implementation of this plan. We work di diligently to translate our vision into tangible outcomes, ensuring that no one is left behind. This requires a collective effort, shared sense of purpose, and a determination to overcome the obstacles and seize the opportunities that we come. From now on, we will consider capital projects from not only central MDAs, but also from the local councils. Our gathering here today is timely. As the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development and its partners have initiated the process of reviewing and preparing local council development plans. We have produced and rolled out the standardized template and guidelines for local council planning to ensure the effectiveness of our council's policies and plans. This is in tandem with our new national development plan and could have profound implications for effective service delivery in our districts and councils. We are confident that by 2030,
the government will look forward to having local development plans that are directly drawn from ward level and that capture village children level plans and aspirations. We no longer know one for children are free to make the MIG plan for now. We think at the talk now, next them from the children, which means the children themselves will begin. That they know what's in there than children. Dry season, then get problem. Start with certain things then. Rainy season, then get certain problems then. If you sit down with them, then we'll tell you. Now they no more go able to come. When you put all of that together, then that not the word. Then they can't go to the world level. Then you don't get the world level development plan or binding constraints in that area then. We put all the words in together, then you don't get the district uh, constraints. Now, against them constraints, then they, with a the plan. Not to for just book business, so now actual when a participation, the things the way they affect you, the things the way they make you know, not they grow. So, it is going to be all encompassing. Thus, future national development plans will be an aggregation of local plans that are comprehensively people-centered. So now we not say self get for they contribute to the, this national where they can every day with the talk and big, you know, medium term national development plan. Whenever you hear that word, they don't say that thing where they become call you, where they say, oh, we know that bridge here and that number no one because we're in the season become we pick it another able good school, then they left now water, we're not able to go to that health center. All that one day with the capture them and nine ingo did it. Let me conclude by thanking all those who contributed to the preparation of this new medium term national development plan that we are officially presenting to you today. Your contributions, whether big or small, have been invaluable. This includes the Moyamba people, the Paramount Chiefs, then, the Youth Man, then, women representatives, district level NGOs, CSO, districts, MDAs, including the Sierra Leone Police, ARSLAV, Office of Senior District Officer, and development partners on the ground. With these few words, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the singular honor of presenting to you the, the new Sierra Leone National Development Plan for 2020, 2024, 2030, entitled A Transformation and Acceleration Agenda for Food Security, Human Capital Development, and Job Creation with a goal of achieving our middle income aspiration by 2039. I'm also pleased to officially launch the district engagement of the medium term national development plan 2024-2030 in the Moyamba district and I thank you for your attention.